This is Bridget Kelly, and you are watching Wrap Up TV. My album is kind of a fetus, <laughs> very early stages. Um, we've been sort of experimenting with with different different um, producers and songwriters, which has been really exciting for me. Um, but I'm happy because I have a lot of creative freedom, you know. And, and being an artist with your first album, you usually are taking notes and taking direction from from a lot of people, and not a lot of overhead. And with this, I'm. I mean, it's. It's gonna be a, a fusion of, of rock and R&B, and it's it's gonna be a little bit more guitar driven than the Empire State of Mind. I think I think a lot of people are gonna be um, uh, shocked, thrilled, and excited, but shocked. They may be a little bit surprised. It's not as not as soulful as um, as they may think. Linda Perry is one. She's fantastic. Um, no ID as well. Um, Jimmy Harry, um, Shucks, who also produced Empire State of Mind. I have a record with him as well. Um, Sam Waters, Dave Hodges from Evanescence. Just a whole variety, sort of a blend of, of rock and, and, and hip hop people that I think can really master that sound that I want. Ultimately, the live element is going to be the most important thing for me. So it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a really, it's going to be interesting, an interesting uh, collaboration. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe, we'll see. We'll see. If he is, it'll be great. <laughs> have you asked him? No. No. I feel like it'll have it's gonna be one of those things that'll have to happen organically if it's gonna it's gonna go down. Favorite TV show, Family Guy. One cute boy or three cute boys. Justin Bieber, Jonas Brothers, Jonas Brothers. <laughs> Guilty pleasure. Oh, there's so many. <laughs> um Guilty Pleasure. Irish music. <laughs> oh yeah. That's happened to me a lot. Alicia Keys is probably the most common. Um, but someone actually, I think I was in Washington, D.C., and I had on a scully, and I had, like, a big fur collar on, and someone someone thought I was Lady Gaga. I don't, I had shades. It was indoors, which, you know, I, it's a compliment. She's 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 incredible, but I was kind of like, I thought she's blonde. Is she blonde? <laughs> Dream collaboration, John Mayer. Favorite Jay-Z song? One? Um... I'm gonna go with Encore. That's always that's always the embarrassing question. Last book you read. <laughs> the question probably should have been when was the last time you read a book? Um, last book I read. Um, it was a collection of stories of Edgar Allan Poe. Sade's album, Sade's new album. I've been listening to that a lot. Um, Florence and the Machine is another one I'm very much into. Um, those are pretty much on repeat, to be honest. And, and John Mayer's album also, um, One Republic. It's sort of it's sort of a blend. I like to I like to put my iPod on shuffle, so it's just kind of whatever whatever pops up. Sometimes it'll be, you know, Feist, and then it'll go from like Feist to Jay Z. <laughs> if I had to pick maybe one or two people whose fashion since I I love Victoria Beckham is one. Um, Chloe Sevigny is another. Those are probably the only two that I think are really incredible. Favorite food, seafood, hands down. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Any kind of any kind of lobster, any kind of any fish, any fish in general. It's just it's that's it for me. That just gets me every time. Favorite music video: Mariah Carey, Dream Lover. Favorite ever. I think that was the first music video I actually ever really watched. So I wasn't allowed to watch TV when I was like seven. It was kind of you know off limits, and so I you know flipping through channels trying to find Ninja Turtles and stumbled upon Mariah singing, and it was great. So that's that's my favorite.